Hello there, it's Andrew from Descript, and it's my great pleasure to show you what's new in our re latest release. Lots of really, really cool stuff that people have been asking for for a long time. Starting it off, uh, we finally have added full text uh, search to uh, the project browser. It'll search for text inside your transcript, including file names and markers, and uh, give you results just like that. So really simple to show off, but very powerful feature. Um, next, this is really cool. We have filler word detection. So you'll see we're automatically underlying ums and us. And time is um, waking up. You can right click on it and ignore it with one click. Waking up time is waking up. But even cooler, you can go in and ignore them all in one click. You can delete them as well. I like ignoring them so that I can- Waking up pretty late in the- See the remnant and perhaps go back in and uh, make some tweaks later. Um, another nice little thing is we added uh, loudness and uh, peak normalization so I can go into a file like this and uh, right click on it in the media library and then normalize uh, the audio, make it louder. So you'll see it just boosted and uh, replaced the file there. Okay, uh, next up, we made a bunch of uh, changes and improvements to the way that uh, sequence tracks work. So this is a sequence with five different tracks of audio. And you'll see here that we added um, color coding to the, um, to the timeline here, which is pretty cool. Um, I'll just do this again because it's fun. Um, and then if I go into the sequencer and look in here, there's something that makes it really useful, which is we've added uh, words to each individual track. So you can see exactly what's going on um, on each track, which is really nice. Um, okay, uh, one last thing, which is uh, we've added a feature called tags. Uh, tags are uh, kind of sections in the script track of audio that are, are non-speech, so sound or just silence. Uh, an example here is uh, when you have music. What's up guys? It'd be nice to be able to denote that, so you can just select a range here in the timeline, right click, um, and uh, add a tag, label that tag. Um, so this is kind of a manual process. You might not have that much need for it as it is right now but it's laying the groundwork for some cool features that we'll have in versions to come. Um, so there's a bunch of other little fixes uh, and improvements, major performance improvements for anyone that's working on complex audio projects. Um, so make sure you check out our blog to get the, the full list and uh, hope you enjoy this release.